it's very concrete in terms of building the technology that will allow you to integrate all your data at the genetic level, the protein level, the cellular level, the synaptic level, the whole brain region, the fiber tracts. Basically, our mission is to try to make sure that any data, any experiment that's done there has a way to be integrated into the model. We believe that we can achieve that um, for the mouse brain within the first five years of this project. And we will have the technical capability, the supercomputing capability, the software, the algorithms, the strategy to absorb data on the human brain to produce a first draft model of the human brain by the end of this project, which is about around 2023. It doesn't mean that this brain is suddenly going to magically explain everything about the brain and how it works. We're still going to have to use this and, and explore and do experiments, virtual experiments. That's what we call simulation-based neuroscience. We believe that's the future of neuroscience. That's why we call it future neuroscience. So we think that that will be the beginning of an, a new area of neuroscience where our Past knowledge has been integrated. We've been able to predict across vast gaps of knowledge. We will actually know what is important, what we can predict and what we cannot predict. We will have achieved a, a fundamental understanding about many aspects of how the brain is designed, such as how many different neurons there are, how many uh, where proteins are being distributed, how many proteins there are in a cell, how many interactions are occurring in the cell. Um, how synapses are forming uh, in, to form networks, a generic understanding of connectivity in the brain. So the number of biological questions that we believe we're going to be addressing during the course of this 10 years uh, is, is phenomenal.